The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has been around for over a year, and man do I love it. I love exploring Hyrule to my heart's content. I love finding cool new weapons to use against my enemies, or testing my skills and wit by climbing up a mountain that will eat up my stamina gauge. Along your travels, however, you can come across the Hylian Shield and Hyrule Castle as one of the many shield pickups in the game. The Hylian Shield is the most durable and protective shield in the game, with a defense number of 90. Totally awesome, right? You found the iconic Hylian Shield in Hyrule Castle. But why was it even there to begin with? I mean, why didn't Link have it before? Link was labeled the chosen hero before his 100 year slumber in the Shrine of Resurrection. Why didn't he have it? Well, that's why I'm here. My name is Hylian Luke, and today we are going to take a look at the Hylian Shield from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. To start, let's take a look at the Hylian Shield itself. As you can see, the Hylian Shield design is almost identical to the Hylian Shield from Skyward Sword. The only difference here is the color or shading. Unlike Skyward Sword's indestructible Hylian Shield though, Breath of the Wild's Hylian Shield can break. The Hylian Shield has a base defense of 90, which makes it the most durable shield in the game. To give you an understanding of how powerful it is, the Hylian Shield can withstand about 10 to 12 Guardian lasers in a row before shattering before your very eyes. Considering any other shield will break with a single Guardian laser and two lasers if your shield has a high enough guard up number, this is a blessing in disguise. Let's take a look at its description. A shield passed down through the Hyrulean royal family, along with the legend of the hero who wielded it. Its defensive capabilities and durability outshine all other shields. The description is pretty self-explanatory. The shield once belonged to the royal family of Hyrule, a hero from a previous time once used it in combat during his adventures to save Hyrule, and that it is the best shield in the game. Let's stop for a moment and ask ourselves this. If that's the case, then why didn't Link have the Hylian shield from the very beginning? After all, Link is more than qualified to possess the Hylian shield and carry it with him in his travels to protect Princess Zelda and the Kingdom of Hyrule that he's willing to die for. Before Link was gravely injured by guardians and slept in the Shrine of Resurrection for 100 years, Link was a swordsman and a royal knight for the Kingdom of Hyrule. He was elected the best swordsman in all of Hyrule, which gave him the honor of being Princess Zelda's personal swordsman. Not only was he a great swordsman, but he was also the goddess's chosen hero. Link in Breath of the Wild was blessed with the Triforce of Courage, which gave him the blessing to wield the Master Sword, the sword that seals the darkness. Being the wielder of the Master Sword and being the best swordsman in all of Hyrule granted him yet another honor to become a champion. Link was elected to be the Hylian champion for the plan to destroy Calamity Ganon upon his return. What does any of this show? All this information we just learned shows that Link is more than worthy of possessing the Hylian Shield. He's the hero for Din's sake, he should have it! Now, I have two theories as to why Link doesn't possess the Hylian Shield before his 100 year slumber. Let's start with the first theory. Plot armor. Yes, simple plot armor. Now, hear me out. Link, being the hero, doesn't travel with any items except for the Master Sword. With just a sword, Link can slaughter any enemy that crosses his path. However, he's been known to get a few injuries here and there because he lacks defense in his weaponry. In the memory of Link's death, Link is trying to fight off corrupted guardians to protect Zelda. He's injured, but he keeps fighting to protect Zelda and to protect his honor and his pride. After Zelda uses her power to kill the guardian that was about to shoot Link, Link collapses and faints into Zelda's arms as he starts to pass away into the afterlife. Zelda then instructs members of the Sheikah tribe to take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection in order to save his life. This is why, theoretically, Link didn't have the Hylian Shield. If Link DID have the Hylian Shield from the start of his chosen hero career, Link wouldn't have needed to be healed or bandaged all those times in combat, and he wouldn't have died from fighting guardians to protect Zelda. If Link didn't die, he wouldn't have gone to the Shrine of Resurrection, which is the start of the game. So Link basically doesn't have it at the start just so the game's story can work. Interesting though, right? Time for theory number two. So to start, let's take a look at the Hylian Shield's description. A shield passed down through the Hyrulean royal family, along with the legend of the hero who wielded it. This is the part we are going to dissect. The Hylian Shield has been passed down throughout the royal family, meaning the shield contains historic and sentimental value to the royal family of Hyrule. This would make sense as the shield once belonged to a hero who saved Hyrule. The shield or sword or whatever weapon a person used to save an entire kingdom is going to be valued over time. To further my point, we need to take a look at a specific Zelda game that also has a similar situation. 
Did Ocarina of Time come to mind? That's right! The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time has a very similar situation with how the Hylian Shield is seen in Breath of the Wild. In Ocarina of Time, the Ocarina of Time itself was also a sacred treasure and a passed down artifact of the Hyrulean royal family. It was not until the downfall of Hyrule, when Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle, that Zelda ran off with Impa and the Ocarina of Time in her hands. She evaded Ganondorf with it so he couldn't get his hands on the Triforce. She entrusted it to Link knowing it would be in safe hands with him. The Hylian Shield from Breath of the Wild is similar in this situation. The Hylian Shield is an artifact of the past, and it held great value among the royal family of Hyrule. And because it was considered a treasure of the royal family, they wouldn't simply let Link use it just because he's the hero of their time. This shield was the shield of a previous hero, which again gave the royal family value for the Hylian Shield. It would not be until 100 years after the downfall of Hyrule, when Link wakes up from his slumber in the Shrine of Resurrection, that the Hylian Shield would be found once again and used by Link not just to protect himself like he could with any other shield, but to symbolize the very kingdom that he loves by using a treasured item of the Hyrulean royal family. After all, the shield is guarded by a monster in the castle cellar. This is actually a good spot for it, as the common thief wouldn't think to look for a sacred treasure in the cellar of the castle they would look in bedrooms, the dining hall, or even the council's library. It's so crazy to think about, but it makes sense, doesn't it? Well, what do you think? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video and don't forget to click that subscribe button. Want to be notified on upcoming videos? Click the notification bell so you'll know whenever I upload a video or a live stream. Yes, I do lots of live streaming on this channel. I've been playing Zelda randomizers on stream as of this video, so if you're interested in watching, that would be splendid. Lastly, I do have a Discord server and you can follow me on Twitter at HyruleanLuke. Both my Discord server and my Twitter can be found in the description below, so please go check them out. That's all for now, so once again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Hylian Luke, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao!